Birthica. That means it's Wednesday and like on social media across the world, Wednesday is for Women Crush Wednesday. I thought I would tell you a little about a couple women who inspire me and I think are really cool and I'd like to share with you. Some of them are alive and doing awesome things today. Some of them did awesome things in the past and are no longer with us. And one of them is fictional. I went through my board on Pinterest. I have a board on Pinterest called Badass Women. Badass ladies, something like that. I will put a link to it down below if you'd like to follow. So I thought I would share them with you today. Maybe they'll inspire you too. The first one is no longer with us and I have talked about her before because she is a hero of mine and that is Nellie Bly who went around the world in less than 80 days, who pretended to be insane so that she would be locked up in, in an insane asylum so that she could write about the poor living conditions for um, the mentally ill and did a lot of other things, had ups and downs in her life and worked through a lot of struggles, came from nothing, made a name for herself made up her own name for herself because Nellie Bly was not her um, real name and was just all around amazing and she really inspires me. So she's the reason Nellie Bly wore um, a gold ring on her left thumb and I have, I wear gold rings on my left thumb kind of uh, to remind myself of her every time I look at it. And to remind myself to be fearless and go for what I want and not take no for an answer. Number two is alive and she's very young and she is doing amazing things and I really look up to her and I can't wait to see her doing more amazing things and that is Amanda Stenberg. She is an actress and she played Rue in The Hunger Games. Ever since then, every time she comes up on my radar, I'm just blown away by how amazing she is. She's just super intelligent. She's so young. like. I feel so old and she's so smart. <laughs> she can explain herself so much better than I can and she is passionate about cultural appropriation of uh, like black things and feminism and like universal feminism and intersectionality and feminism and stuff and she really points out some things that's important to keep in mind as a feminist. Another person who is not with us anymore and has been a per personal hero of mine since I think I've read an essay about her in high school or maybe even junior high and it always stuck with me and I did projects on her in college in my photography classes. She's a long time hero of mine. That's Margaret Burkwhite. She was a photographer who started Life Magazine. So you've seen her photos even if you didn't know that they were hers. She photographed food lines during the Great Depression. She photographed the Blitzkriegs. She like bombs over Moscow. Uh, she photographed Stalin, she photographed Gandhi. You have seen her work, you just don't know it. <laughs> she did things that women were starting to do more often and she was fearless. The next one, she is alive, Danny Ryland. She and everyone that she's working with right now are all included in my Woman Crush Wednesday because she just started, I mean, she's been working on it for a while, but it just, you know, began in October, the National Women's Hockey League, which is a professional hockey league for women and is kind of groundbreaking in its way because there is a professional hockey league for women in Canada. It's professional, but it's unpaid. The players are not getting a salary. They're not getting any money. But the National Women's Hockey League, the players do get paid. They don't get paid a ton, but they do have a salary and they can negotiate their salary. There's a cap on it, so it can't go above a certain amount, but everybody who's involved in the organization gets paid, which is amazing. There are four teams that started out this inaugural season, and those are the Buffalo Buttes, the Boston Pride, the Connecticut Whale, and my team, the New York Riveters. Oh, the best part about that is that you can watch all of the games, even if you, like me, live in Texas uh, or other places and can't get to the games, they all stream for free online. Uh, and I'll put a link in down below. I just recently got into hockey because of another woman, Crush Wednesday, who is nosy and she writes a webcomic that I mentioned before called Check Please, which is about a college hockey team, which is men, but I've just, since that came out, I've gotten really interested in hockey and then women's hockey team. And that's so cool. We don't highlight women's sports enough. And so this year I really got into soccer and the Women's World Cup. And I've gone to several 
like our local women's soccer games and they're so much fun. Our next one, she is also still alive. Uh, I read a New York Times article about this woman and she's just amazing and is selfless and brave and she blows my mind. So that is um, Josephine Findaselu. I might be saying her name wrong. Uh, she is a matron nurse in Sierra Leone and she works with uh, Ebola patients. At the time of the, when I first read the article, she'd lost like 15 of her nurses to Ebola, but she hadn't been infected and she just like tirelessly works with these, you know, sick victims. I can't imagine. Just the fortitude to go back to work every day when you're dealing with people who are dying of Ebola, which is unimaginable to keep going and to like risk your life like that every day. So she's amazing. My last one is my fictional character and this is Franny Fisher. Franny Fisher is the main character in a series of books by Carrie Greenwood and also a series that Australia gave us and it is available on Netflix called Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries. Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries are set in the 1920s in Melbourne, Australia and they are delicious. They are so good. The stories are fun. The They're murder mysteries. The characters are phenomenal. It's one of those shows where you watch it and every person who's on screen is your favorite. Um, I don't know if you do this with TV shows a lot, but I have several shows where a character will come out and I'm like, I love them. And then another one comes on, I'm like, but wait, no, I love them just as much. That, that show has a lot of hashtag perfect human beings on it. And the clothes, the costuming, the scenery, everything. It has this enormous attention to detail. Franny Fisher is a very wealthy woman and she's a woman who knows what she wants and she's independent and she becomes a private detective. She is confident and sexy and smart and she's been through a lot. She was a nurse during World War One, and so she's got like dark scars in her past and she's moved past them and they still affect her but she has a lot of joie de vivre and she's a hero. She's another person I want to be more like. Those women are my Woman Crush Wednesday women. Woman Crush Wednesday women? Yeah? Yeah, whatever. So those are the ladies I like. You can check out the Pinterest board where I have those women pinned in there and also my earlier pinned. You can't pin these ladies down. And a lot of other women that I admire and I think are badass uh, in there and you can read more about them and you can follow me on Pinterest if you like. That's a thing you can do. You can also do all those other nice things you can do on YouTube. You can like this video. You can subscribe if you haven't already. You can share it if you like these women and you want other people to know about these women. And you can comment below if you already knew all of these people. Tell me which one was your favorite. If you hadn't heard of them, tell me which one was your favorite. Uh, if you think there's somebody I would like to learn about from these people that I've just told you about, there's someone relevant to my interest, please let me know. I'm always looking for new women to learn about and, you know, freak out about because I like them so much. So yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for joining me for Woman Crush Wednesday, and I'll be back tomorrow with Thirsty Thursday. All right.